happening right now. Kern County is experiencing a number of small earthquakes, likely aftershocks following a strong earthquake tonight that shook nerves and homes. In fact, the U.S. Geological Survey says the 5.2 magnitude quake originally thought to be a 5.6 was centered about 10 miles south of Bakersfield. If we could take a look at that map, uh, that quake hit just a little bit after 9 tonight. It was reportedly felt across much of Los Angeles and into the San Joaquin Valley, also felt along the coast to Santa Maria. Okay, that map you're looking at right there, those are red points where there have been small earthquakes likely aftershocks tonight. Mm -hmm. Again, all in the course of just the last hour. That diagonal line that you see towards the center of the screen, that would be Highway 99. Just to the left of that would be, I believe that would be I-5. I-5 and 99 are both on that. That actually may be I-5. Let me correct myself. That may be I-5, uh, that main diagonal line that you see there. The other one that you see a little bit towards the right-hand side of the screen would be the 99. Mm -hmm. So this is not far from where that splits, about 20 miles from there. Yeah. But we are hearing tonight from viewers in Hanford, Porterville, Fresno, Tulare, Reedley, Visalia, Sanger. Even our own master control operator says that he felt it here in the building. But That's right. We didn't. We did not feel it here. USGS says at least 10 aftershocks of 2.6 and above have already struck since. I'm, I'm sure this is ongoing even now. Some people, even including Chief Meteorologist Chris Kuyper, said they received a shake alert just before the quake. And we're going to keep monitoring that for you and, and check back in and see just how many more uh, we've had tonight. But again, that is just within the last hour. 909, I believe, was the time of that, of that the most, yeah. the strongest quake that Living we've seen. Living in California. In all right, in case you're just joining us here, just want to recap kind of what happened in Kern County just a little over an hour ago. About 909 was the first earthquake which struck down there. It was a magnitude 5.2 uh, earthquake on the Richter scale there, centered about 20 miles south of Bakersfield. So kind of on the way to the grapevine there uh, in that area. And it wasn't just one. There were numerous ones. We had the main shock there at uh, 909. And then after that, we had a 4.6, I believe. And then it was also a 4.1 as well. So two uh, earthquakes over 4.0. Here's a map of uh, Bakersfield right here, and then a little bit south. It's kind of out in open farmland there towards the uh, what was the current lake bed out in that region there. Uh, Mettler, I believe, is over in this area here. Uh, and again, Taft over there. So uh, you kind of get an idea of where these earthquakes were. Uh, again, 12 uh, aftershocks over 3.0, and then two extra ones over 4.0, and the main shock was a 5.2 uh, magnitude earthquake. This area is not a stranger to earthquakes. There have been earthquakes in this region before, notably back in, I believe, 1952, in July of 1952, they had a 7.5 magnitude earthquake, which struck there, and I think there was another one, a 7.3 as well, and it caused major damage in Bakersfield down there way back in 1952. So this area, again, uh, can be prone to earthquakes, apparently. Uh, in this region tonight, we had a 5.2 magnitude earthquake. It was felt, obviously, in Bakersfield, and I heard pe some people felt it in Fresno. I got the shake alert uh, notification on my phone, but I didn't feel it. So go figure. Back to you. Okay, let's come back to the earthquake here. We had an earthquake last night, uh, about 25 hours or so from now. Uh, down in Kern County. It was a 5.2 magnitude earthquake just a little bit south of Bakersfield. And boy, the aftershocks has just been going and going and going and going all night last night, and they're still going on right now. Uh, we had a 4.4 magnitude aftershock about 7.30 this evening uh, down there again. So here's Bakersfield. Again, here is, is where the, uh, all the earthquakes are going on, all the aftershocks and the, the, main, the main shock as well down the area. 30 aftershocks over 3.0 uh, magnitude. You really can't feel an earthquake uh, below 3.0, so that's why you chose that threshold. Four aftershocks of 4.0 in magnitude. This, we don't really don't think of the San Joaquin Valley as an earthquake prone place, but this is not the first time that area has had a strong earthquake, and it's had a much stronger earthquake been a while, but back in 1952, they had a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. This is right here on the White, uh, White Wolf Fault, right there, that, uh, that earthquake there. That one caused major damage in Bakersfield. Uh, I believe it killed 12 people even uh, in Tehachapi and Bakersfield as well. So that was a very significant earthquake. The one that we had last night was, was not quite as strong, although there was certainly was some shaking in Bakersfield. Help you run to the restaurant faster, I guess. Uh, hey, remember a couple days ago we had the big earthquake down there in Bakersfield or near Bakersfield or so, a, a 5.2 magnitude earthquake, and then over the next 24 hours we had lots of aftershocks. We had three aftershocks of 4.0 or stronger, 27 uh, 3.0 or stronger aftershocks in the first 24 hours there. Today, no aftershocks over 3.0, so things are settling down a little bit in the south end of the valley. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from.
And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.